Hello to everyone who knows where to look for solid advice. Today we will look at making thumbnail sketches. For those who have not heard of it, you are living under a bridge. They are sketches just super rough or small. Some people tend to call them napkin sketches. I've been talking about them before, but today everything is about these little things. So first of all, let's look at what a thumbnail is exactly. A thumbnail is a small picture to give you an idea of what is to come. So basically the small window you clicked on to get to this video, that was a thumbnail. Not exactly the kind of thumbnail we'll be doing, but overall there are many similarities, such as size and reason behind them. They exist to convey super quickly without much work of the viewer what will be on YouTube. This is referring to the video the thumbnail is promoting, and in art it refers to how the final illustration will look like. And because of this little difference in what they are referring to, they also gotta work a little differently. Our thumbnails should be enough information to know what shape language, scale and major forms our illustration will be having. YouTube thumbnails, on the other hand, have the sole goal of making you click on it and afterwards regretting it because some weirdo won't shut the hell up about some small pictures. And I hear you. So let's move on to creating a thumbnail. In the background, you've been seeing me doing some little robots and most likely noticed they all look pretty different and my brush strokes are super loose and messy. This is exactly what you need to do when thumbnailing. You basically think out loud with your pen. Draw whatever comes to mind so you can understand it and then make it so somebody else is going to recognize it as well. That's it. Do not go into details too much. I recommend making the canvas much smaller than I have it here, but if I were to make it actually thumbnail size, it would look something like this for you. And people watching on a phone or some kind of smaller screen will probably not be too happy about that. So let's just keep it at a normal size. So to repeat, you paint loosely, you don't think about one thing only, but let your mind wander. And you draw small so you don't get lost in the details. That is the way to create thumbnails. Depending for whom you're working, these have to be a little more refined, since there will be multiple people looking over them at various times and you can't attend all the meetings to explain your exact thought process. Also, in the thumbnailing process, you can bend the rules you were given a little and maybe inspire the stakeholder to new grounds with the design you are showing them. But that also depends heavily on who we're talking about. Now, for the last segment, let's get a little more into the detail about thumbnails. I know, irony, right? But understanding the reason of thumbnails will help you appreciate them and feel more motivated to do them, even if it seems like a bit of a chore at first. We make them not just to get out ideas fast, but with them we also warm up our drawing skills before going into the sketching phase, which is almost the most important phase of an illustration if you ask me. Plus, by making thumbnails we can inspire ourselves to create something new and innovative. Innovative? Innovative? Well, whatever. This. Maybe you have a good idea, but after 30 thumbnails your idea you once thought was the best is one of many. And after looking at the work you've done, you decided to go with a mix of thumbnail number 5 and 28, since they have many things in common, but you tend to like one thing and don't like another. With the creation of thumbnails, we boost our creativity and artistic skills. It's a win-win. And furthermore, we make many iterations, let's say, of a character in an action pose. Then we can see how well the pose reads and what doesn't work. In other words, you can see how successful your drawing will be before you even did all the work of sketching and rendering every little bit of skin and clothing. Well, it seems like I've gone a little bit overboard about these little pictures. But remember, the first steps in an illustration are almost always more important than the last ones. Beginning with reference gathering and then going into thumbnail sketching. The next video will be about how to sketch out the thumbnail you have chosen. Until then, I hope you're using the blessing I gave you in the reference video well. And until next time, happy drawing.